Hey there friends, Nibs again. Wanted to get out and uh, do a little shooting tonight. Really nice, uh, actually kind of warm, about in the mid 70s, uh, fall evening up here in upstate New York. Um, not going to be too many more of those, you can guarantee that. But uh, wanted to get out and do a little shooting. Um, Boomstick uh, threw up a challenge uh, a few days ago actually, uh, kind of in a extension of the uh, clay pigeon challenge that I had put up and uh, he put one up uh, doing uh, clay pigeons at 50 yards with a pistol so um, I figured I'd give that a go tonight um, see how it goes uh, I am no crack shot with a pistol at 50 yards uh, I did hit a soda can at 100 yards with it, it took me three shots but that's okay um, I want to shout out to everybody who's uh, subscribe to my channel already I really appreciate everybody joining in um, if you haven't already go ahead and uh, subscribe it really helped me out a lot um, like share and subscribe uh, and let's get to shooting um, let me show you what I'm going to be using tonight um, this is my uh, yeah you might think it's the uh, Marvin the Martian uh, space gun a lot of people have called it that but this is my uh, what I use for shooting bullseye with uh, 50 feet not 50 yards um, this is a supermatic citation um, it is a model 103 which uh, from what I understand the 103 series was about mid 60s is when these came out so um, this is a really nice one. Uh, it has these custom fit grips. I'll show you. They really fit my hand, just like a glove. Um, you can see I, I don't even have to, it just stays on my hand. I don't even have to grip it. I don't have to try to hold on to it. Um, I can just completely let go of the gun and it just stays on my hand. So it's, it's an awesome shooter. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the original grips, but uh, these are so nice that I guess I really don't care. Um, <clears throat> I do have the uh, original box for this gun with this gun serial number on it. Um, it did come with two barrels. Um, the one I'm using tonight is the 10 inch barrel. And I also do have a, uh, I think it's eight inch or maybe eight and three quarter or something like that, a little bit shorter. Uh, both of them have uh, fully adjustable sights on them. Uh, they do come with these barrel weights. Um, unfortunately, I don't have all the barrel weights. I just have this one, but uh, and I do have a muzzle brake for it. It got all dirty and started throwing my shots all around, and it really doesn't really seem to be helping my performance at all anyway. So anyway, uh, what I'm gonna be shooting is uh, I've got uh, some Aguila 22 Super Extra. Um, 10 rounds loaded up in my mag. Hopefully that's enough to take care of those five birds. But if not, we'll load up another mag and keep going until we get them all, right? So, safety first. Get my ears in here. Um, just a little disclaimer. I did shoot one mag full at this distance just to get a, a feel for where it is hitting. And actually, uh, when I line my sight up, I put the sight right at the bottom of the target and I actually had like three or four hits right on my bullseye, which is actually a smaller orange sticker than the clay pigeons are. So, um, <clears throat> it is a very accurate gun. Uh, there's I had one shot that was a real high flyer, but the rest of them were all uh, pretty tight right in there. So, um, the only way I know to shoot this gun is like I'm shooting bullseye. So. I am going to be, let me back up here enough to get you guys all in frame here, but I'm going to be shooting uh, one-handed, offhand. Uh, if I can't hit them at all, then maybe I'll get my rest out and try it that way too, but I'm pretty sure I can get them with shooting offhand like this, so as long as I don't shoot my camera, we'll be good to go and we'll be able to see these shots. <laughs> um, so here goes nothing. Uh, so. I'll shoot them from uh, left to right, so if I 
goof up and hit one of the ones out of order, then you'll know that I didn't do it the <laughs> as expected. But uh, I heard it hit the cardboard. I, I can't see the bullet impacts from here without my binoculars, so I don't know where it hit. Got to be hitting all around it. Boy. Let me look through binoculars real quick and see what's going on here. Looks like I'm peppering all around it. Just getting a little low, I think. Try to bring it up just a little bit and I should be able to get it. All right, I'm gonna have to reload, I guess. guys I have to at least sit down and shoot it from from a resting point yeah so that's 10 rounds I let me uh, let me try it from just resting my elbows on the table I should be able to do a lot better there So let me uh, get my mag out here. This is not a uh, not an easy challenge. You guys got to give it a go. Tim, Rifleman 2.0, all you guys got to give this a go. So let me uh, see where the bullets are going to impact in here. And it's just, <laughs> I can see, it's just peppered all around the bottom of it, so. Hitting real close, but, uh. Arms are just shaky enough that it, I can't get it on there, so. Some of the guys at the Bullseye League say I'm cheating because uh, my barrel's so long, I'm halfway to the target. But <laughs> so that's kind of funny. But most of the guys are all shooting like buck marks and stuff with like six-inch barrels and stuff and things like that. So, but I like my space gun. So let me try just uh, a little bit. There we go. There's two. Guess I should have done this right from the get go. There's three. Oh, that? I wasn't shaking around that bad when I shot the first 10. I just, uh, you'll see, I mean, you'll see in the video that can see they're just all right there just barely missing that other one so Did I shoot the center out of that one well it's doing so good all of a sudden I'm 
Can't hit nothing again. Well, there's another 10 down. I don't know what's going on. I hit three in a row and now I can't hit the other one. So, But we'll keep going until we get them all, right? Well, unless I run out of bullets. <laughs> I got, uh, well, I got more in the bag, but I got, I got 20 left there. So hopefully it doesn't take me all of those. But you know it's kind of like bowling. You know if you shoot, if you shoot strikes every time, you're only getting half your money's worth out of the deal. So. At least that's what I say to all my friends that get all the strikes. All right. Can I get two more in ten rounds, please? There's number four. There, number five. My goodness, that didn't seem like it should have been that hard of a challenge, huh? But anyway, hope you liked it, and I uh, hope you guys out there in uh, YouTube land will pick up on this and uh, and run with it. It is a tough challenge. Um, I thought I'd be able to do it offhand, but uh, just just a little shaky tonight. I guess I worked out a little bit too hard this morning. My arms are just a little bit weak. So, but uh, anyway, like I said before, like, share, subscribe. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.